Tony. What up? What's up, my guy? What up? What up? Hey, where you coming from with this shit, man? Uh, Dallas. Because from? I'm really coming from Fort Worth, but don't nobody know what Fort Worth is. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Fort Worth ain't no 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 easy place to grow up from at all. It's like another Memphis, you mm-hmm. know. It's like another Memphis that we like a little more, uh-huh. like Ratcheter, you know, like mm-hmm. less people make it out than Memphis. Memphis people actually be actually making it out, mm-hmm. but Fort Worth, nope. Yeah, we just got started on it. We we mm-hmm. gut as a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. We gonna get straight into it, man. Let's so, go. What's been going on? You been all right? I been good, man. We dropped. We did the video. Mm-hmm. We posted. Mm-hmm. And I said, man. Uh, the the gay, the, the fucking gay, nigga song with Gay Crip. Gay Crip that you created. And you been going mm-hmm. crazy ever <laughs> since then. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, shout out to Supreme too. Mm-hmm. We put it together, man. Yes. Yes, sir. So you've been what you was on, uh No Jumper? I've been on all the biggest platforms. I've been on No Jumper, I wanna say is probably the biggest platform I done been on besides Vlad T V. Mm-hmm. Um I done been on uh Key Talk, Dallas Global, mm-hmm. um Juice Talk. I think they got something called Juice Talk with the little straw, the little yellow and blue cup. Yeah, seen it. yeah something like that. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm saying it right. Mm-hmm. Um a lot of the straight community side of things you know i ain't really on none of the gay blogs and nothing like that i'm on all the straight nigga blogs uh-huh. you know i'm all on, you know all in the straight community and shit so i'm i got a lot of nigga fans right now that's crazy yeah more than gay and women right now that's crazy that's really crazy i think mm-hmm. the women do fuck with the you. women definitely fuck with me but all uh-huh. i see in them comments is niggas <laughs> <laughs> That's all I see. And, you know, I, they say the haters is who is your biggest supporters right there. Oh, yeah. So, sure. you know, I, I don't see no. I see a few women, you know, saying, uh-uh, not too much on Tony. But it'd be a lot of them niggas that be making up the thousands of comments that be on there. Uh-huh. It'd be all them. But, you know, I, I love them. I love y'all. Thank y'all for hating. I seen, like, it seemed like the Crips is embracing you. You think so? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the But... These are the the only Crips that are embracing me are the high ranking Crips. The mm-hmm. lower ranking Crips are the ones that's talking shit. Mm-hmm. Them the ones that's mad because they not high ranking Crips mm-hmm. like us. Mm-hmm. So Before you know. You um, so, so I, I'm, I just you know wish y'all the best on you know trying to make y'all way up and rank because you know I started out in the hood, then I came and met up with OG Percy. Mm-hmm. You know. Then I, uh, they made the little video saying that, oh, well, Tony can't go to L.A. doing that. Tony can't go to L.A. And then I flew my little ass right to L.A. and was doing that. <laughs> so, you know. And but you was with Crip Mac. I was with Crip Mac. Uh, Crip Baby, I think that's his name. Uh-huh. And um, Shark. Yeah, Shark. That's yeah. Shark. Yeah. yeah, I was with them. And I don't think Shark is a Crip. I think he's just a pimp. He yeah. just, he just a, a, a gangster pimp or mm-hmm. something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's it's really been a lot going on. You know, I'm, and then um, all this going on, I ain't even release, really released no music like that. So, just imagine how things, big things, finna go when I come out with my little Crip song I got coming out. Because I got me a little Crip song uh-huh. I'm finna do. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm going to have you do that too. Uh-huh. I'm going to have you do that. I think I'm, yeah, you, yeah. you deserve the, 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 the <laughs> grace of being able to do that. You did start the Crip shit, you know. So, let's go on and I appreciate let's, let's Let's let you work. Let's let's work. I'm gonna work with you. So yo yo hood that mm-hmm. you from from mm-hmm. Fort Worth. What's the name of it? Morningside. 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 Was That's it, was it Crips over there? Oh, stuff? nothing but Crips. My mama was a Crip. My granny was a Crip. We was all Crips. Uh, come Man. outside. All the kids was Crips. They throwing up Crips. We need we didn't know how to throw it up like that. We was doing stuff like this. Just it, <laughs> uh, throwing up an L. You know, damn, uh-huh. they're trying to throw up. You know, but. <laughs> We we was all crib. The babies throwing up crib. Everybody throwing up crib. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So that's where you got put down. Then. Uh uh. So that's where I grew up at. When I actually got put in, I moved a little bit up more south into like the Hoover Landing is what they like to call it in mm-hmm. Fort Worth. So I just found out that the Hoover Landing people come from L.A. You know because. I had went on the No Jumper show, and I had went in there, and I was like, okay, y'all, I'm Tony motherfucking weird rich bitch, and I got on my orange, and I just want y'all to know that, you know, our colors is different than y'all's. You know, y'all's is blue, but the Crip colors in Fort Worth is orange. Mm-hmm. And they was like, oh, no, no, it's not. 
the Crip colors out here is orange. That started out here. Mm. And I didn't know that. I thought that it started in Fort Worth. So, you know, I learned a little. I took my little jot notepad and it, took my notes of Crip stuff. That's took, important. Yeah. I'm I'm still learning, you know, because, you know, they, they make it seem back home that our being a gangster is about is how many people you didn't shot up. Uh, how many times you didn't been to jail? How many times you didn't didn't fought? Or how much street cred you got for being a a tough nigga? How many guns you got? When I don't feel like that. That's I used to think that that was what you was supposed to do, but now I know that that's not. Cause Crip Baby clearly said no, Tony. That's not what being a gangster is about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Yep. So coming up, mm-hmm. uh, did, did you know you was gay? I did. Since I was like eight years old. Well, no, I ain't even gonna lie. I think like five, four, mm-hmm. probably, you know, like early. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, my mind was working at a young age. I was able to figure things out within 2.5 seconds. I already knew what a pussy was, <laughs> a dick was, sex was. I knew all that stuff was at about age three, four, five, uh, around that area. I, I I knew that I was gay around that time. A lot of people always like to say, "Oh well, um, he was touched on. That's why he gay." Uh, he was around, grew up with a whole bunch of women. But I have a lot of homeboys that grew up with nothing but women, women households, mm-hmm. and they out here fucking pussy. So, <laughs> I you know I I that's I don't agree with that when people be like, "Oh well, he grew up with a lot of women, so that's why he gay." Or he was touched on because a lot of people think. Things like yeah, that. they think like that. I'm telling you that that's not true. I knew I was gay before all of that even came about. Mm-hmm. I was touched on, but this was down the line. And I'm gonna talk more. You are gonna see on no. I, I said a little bit of that on no jumper. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to them too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, have you ever had sex with a woman? I got head from a girl. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And it was on Halloween. Uh huh. And she had on her Halloween costume, so that kind of like helped. Dilute the me seeing her as a girl. Uh-huh. So, uh, we was taking off our Halloween costumes, and we was all in my mama house. My mama had my mama had one of them houses that was like the whole house. Everybody can go over there. Yeah. Anybody come over there? Everybody got they, that 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 one parent of the old family in the household where everybody can come over there. Nah, they don't give sure. a damn. And that was my mama house. So I I could bring everybody over there. The women could sleep in the room with the boys of my mama house, everything. Mm-hmm. People didn't got pregnant. It, it was, yeah, it was just a lot of shit that happened in my mama house. We did had kickbacks over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was, just one, it was Halloween, and I brought uh, my homegirl over there. But see, my homegirl, she was a thotty waddy. Mm-hmm. And she was fucking at an early age we was in like the this was the fifth or fourth grade uh-huh. she was actually actively having sex so she was like tony like you know uh they be saying you gay but i don't think you gay and like i was like why you say that and then she just started like trying to like take my clothes off and shit and she did she took my clothes off and she started you know doing stuff with her mouth uh-huh. and i just i, I it was uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. I was scared. Now that's being touched on. Shit, that nah, that's for sure. molesting <laughs> right there. Uh-huh. When people be asking, you was ever molested? I be thinking of that. I don't even be thinking of the actual <laughs> times I was actually molested. I be thinking of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You said that was the molestation. That was right the there. molestation right there. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. The flip the switcheroo, goddamn. Switcheroo a motherfucker, <laughs> man. <laughs> so did you play any sports coming up and shit? Football. You play football? Football. Mm-hmm. Uh so during my growing up stages, my mama and them didn't know that I was gay. So they was trying to like get me into sports and stuff for prevent like I would go in the room and stuff, like, you know. And I would be twitching and shit, you know. I sounded like a girl and shit, you know. I talked like a bitch, you know, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So my family members was picking up on stuff like that. And then they would, other family members would be looking at each other like, you need to get him in football. Quick. <laughs> they showed they you, you, to. you need to get him in. When, when is you going to sign him up for uh, baseball? You know, like they would be Just having some, a little some conversation. Man type yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I'd be picking up boxing or something. You need to get him in boxing because, mm like, And I would pick up on that. And I would be That's wondering funny, why every time when I turn on Beyonce and get on the couch and get to singing, ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. Because I'd be damn if I, I, and they would automatically get to talking about putting me in sports anytime I would be doing any type of feminine traits. Mm-hmm. 
Damn, that's mm-hmm. crazy as hell. Is people, you think people like um, hesitating, I ain't gonna say scared, hesitating to work with you? No. Okay. It's Look, hard. I'm here. Fuck you talking about. I'm here. And I, uh, I, can I ask you, am I the first gay uh, person that's been on your platform? Openly? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I feel like just by me even being, like, you know, I, I always, I knew that I was going to be successful, mm-hmm. you know, I, but I just didn't know it was going to be beyond my imagination. Like, I never thought that I would be at Boxed In, mm-hmm. you know, I it never, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I never thought I would be on No Jumper, like, you know, getting a music video shot and it going viral and it actually being within the straight community, you know, so it, it like, um, I, but people... To answer your question, no, I don't feel like nobody. I was just with Crip Mac. No, for sure, sure. Brick Baby, Shark. You feel me? Um, I've worked with. Ha- Are you familiar with Half Pint Films? Yeah. Okay, he was actually one of the first uh, men to work with me. Okay, maybe because actually, to be honest with you, this is not the first time the gay Crip stuff has came about. Oh. Uh, it. it a long time ago, I shot a music video called I Guess She Mad. Mm-hmm. Ali, I can go research this. So when y'all start doing y'all research, just make sure y'all type in I Guess She Mad. I Guess She Mad is a diss song that I made to my homegirl, mm-hmm. my ex-homegirl. And it, it was a revolving around her beating up my other homegirl and using a weapon to fight her. She picked up a rock and busted upside her motherfucking head. Mm. And... uh. Remember, I told you, I, I did grow up on the South Side, so I, I always knew. <laughs> I, I only knew, to, the only way I knew to make a music video was I used to see all the other niggas, like, having guns in the video yeah, exactly. and, and, and and throwing up gang signs and, and mm-hmm. all, all that shit, you know. Uh-huh. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I need to do that if I'm going to make a music video. So I got all my homegirls. We tied our boo bandanas around us and had them around our necks and shit. And we was out. My whole set was out there. Fuck you, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then it had kind of, they had caught, started saying, like, is this a set? Outside, what the, it was kids out there and everything. The key, my uh, our kid, my, my baby wasn't born yet, but we had kids out there holding guns and everything. Uh-huh. They had on their blue crip bandanas and everything. So yeah, you know what's you this this. Let me ask you this because it just came to my head. Mm-hmm. It seemed like do you hang with gay people? No, I don't have not one gay friend. Bree, uh, my homegirl, you've met Bree. Yeah, Bree has. Nothing but gay friends. That's all she hangs around. So the only, I guess you could say that whenever I'm at her house and if if any of her gay friends are over there, I easily get along with them and stuff like that. But I don't have any personal gay friends that like I can call right now or anything like that. And why is that? I don't get along with other gay people. I'm already, gay people do too much. I'm already Man. too much. I'm already <laughs> too much. So me plus other gay people, no. Not Damn, gonna work. That's crazy. Then you ain't even gonna wanna work with me no more. Cause then I'm gonna have all my other gay friends in here and it's gonna be too gay for you. Even <laughs> it's just you no. Know, I'm good. It's just turn the motherfucking weird, bitch. Just just we gonna roll it out like that. I got my little bad bitches homegirl, my bad bitch homegirls that you know I'm gonna be bringing, you know, and shit to be in my videos. They're gonna shake some ass and I'm gonna be the only gay person in the video. Hey. Cause I swear to God, when I shot your video, mm-hmm. it went number women. That's it. That's all I want for my career. Bad bitch. Like I'ma have my bad bitch six is what I'm gonna call it. Dang. Six bad bitches that that gonna roll with me everywhere I go. You gotta have BBL done. You gotta be pretty in the face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you think is stopping Fourth Work from getting to the next level with the artists and stuff? Just being haters, like you know, uh, being not unloyal um, and not wanting to see nobody else make it. So Fort Worth, uh, nobody else wants to see nobody else make it. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to see nobody else make it <laughs> from Fort Worth. I ain't going to lie to you because them motherfuckers don't even don't support me. So why the hell would I want them to make it? So uh, the main problem with Fort Worth is nobody wants to see nobody else make it. Like me. like Before I, them. Huh? Or like probably before them. Type Before them, yeah, like everybody else wants to be on top. Everybody wants to be the best, and that's no problem. We want to be the best, but you still got to have a good, good heart. Mm-hmm. You still no, have sure. to be a good person in order to make it within anything. You cannot go into anything thinking that an evil intent is going to get you anywhere, mm-hmm. or a evil thinking like jealousy. That's an example of evil. Uh, uh, yeah. revengeful. You know, all of that stuff. There's some people in the industry 
that is still worried about that person that did this all this to them all them years ago. Like you got to be a forgiving person too. Yeah. You're not gonna make it nowhere not not having no type of positive energy around you. If you were, if you completely just surrounded by negativity, you're not gonna get nowhere. You're gonna always be negative. I don't give them how much money you have, how many cars you have. You're gonna always find yourself in some shit. Mm-hmm. And that's just what I believe. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, who is somebody like man you can't wait to work with? Gorilla. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. You didn't work with Gorilla. Yeah, that's my uh-huh. dog. That's my dog right yeah, there. Yeah, I love her. I, I like that. I don't give a fuck. That, that song, yeah. yeah. You did that too? Nah, nah, I ain't oh, do okay. that. I ain't do that. Yeah, I ain't yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of them people like you can't wait yeah. to work with. Is it somebody else? Uh, let's see. Nicki Minaj. For sure. Nicki Minaj. Um,. I'm a Nicki. I'm a Nicki fan. I like Cardi B too, but I'm a. I'm a. I will rock out with Nicki. I like her personality. She's mm-hmm. speaking some real shit. You know, she talks about going to college, staying in school, the importance of uh, education and everything like that, and about how it's a lot of people out here that's in the industry that don't have the education to back them up in the industry, and it's kind of hindering them. Like it's a lot of math that comes into this shit. You got to know numbers, yep. your percentages, how much you got to pay your manager, how much, yep. you know, like it's just a lot of stuff that you got to know. And I ain't going to lie, I dropped out of college. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that the hindrance is, is going <laughs> to come. What you think about um, what, what Saucy Santana? Saucy Santana? Uh-huh. I don't listen to none of his music except the Walk Him Like a Dog, Sis, Walk Him Like a... That's the only song that I know from him. But I I do like they little stuff that they be doing on Instagram when they be going live. I think he funny. Him yeah. he be hanging around uh, uh the city girls, uh JT and uh, young young Florida, whatever Miami something, like, uh-huh. whatever her name is. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, let's get into you. I think you want to play one your song. You want to play your song? Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, it's it's um my new song. Uh, it's called A Bitch Could Never, and it's basically like explaining how like a bitch could just never. A bitch could never. That's just that. Let's get into it. Yeah. A bitch could never. A bitch could never. A bitch could never. A bitch could never. Bitch, I get money. I feel like Lil Runny. These hoes don't know if I'm a rapper or a Playboy Bunny. Last hoe that won't smoke, I rolled up like an onion. Bitch, I got shooters and my bucks is getting tall as youngest. I'm living in these bitches' head, but they ain't paying no rent. Five figures for that dick and it was worth every cent. Trash say she got that water, hurt it's dirty like Flint. I'm in a rich nigga Bentley sucking dick behind tent. Got these bitches all upset and they ain't even pop my shit yet. I'm accidentally stepping on these bitches just like insects. I just got the drop, so you know where we gon' spin it. Big house in the A, they be like Tony, where you been at? Hey. Word about my dick, it ain't gon' get you shit, ayy Assuming shit from a show, it's just gon' get you hit, ayy Beef with sis over some dick, no, I'm just not that rich ayy. Stop getting money to go and fight, no, I'm just not that rich Tell the truth, shame the devil, bitch, I'm on another level Gotta be a problem, got these niggas and these bitches just Double cut me like the purple, red, and the yellow ayy. Run me in the house, a bitch could never Ever. A bitch could never Ever. A bitch could never Ever. Run me in the house a bitch could never, Ever. a bitch could never, Ever. a bitch could never, Ever. run me in the house, a bitch could never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what's going on, he just ran through that motherfucker like that, you dig, man, so, <laughs> so, man, like, you think you bringing something different to the music business, bro? Yeah, I really do, I feel like in five years, the world is really gonna be changed, um, act, no. I know that I'm going to change the world, you know, as far as, like, everybody accepting each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still, like, a lot of segregation going on with the gay stuff. Even though the LGBT people, you know, people know not to play with them folks because your (laughs) career be over. Man. You know? I ain't going to lie. When I was sitting in the interview with No Jumper and I was next to Shark, Mm -hmm. I could tell that he was like, let me watch everything I say because I don't want to say nothing wrong. No, it's serious, bro. He sat over there and he asked me about two questions. I swear to God, he let Crip Mac and Brick Baby take over the whole interview because he ain't want to say shit and wrong. And you know he a he a yeah. mo- he a motherfucker. <laughs> he was scared as hell to say that anything wrong because the one the one time you disrespect a gay person on on national TV or any type of big platform, yo, that's it. Yeah, Them LGBT folks will tear your ass up. They pity. They but pity. They gonna come. The, it's still a lot of. Um, judgment that goes on with the gay folks you know it's a lot of stuff it's still not all the way just 100 percent 
accepted. We almost there, but that's my job to come in mm-hmm. to go on and add the there. Mm-hmm. You know, so we don't be almost there no more. So that's my job. That's why God put me on this earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, thank you, Tony, for coming, man. You're welcome. We up out of here, man. Run me in the house. A bitch could never. <laughs>